can you see my slides yeah absolutely correct go on so um, i am dr nilufar fatima choudhury consultant department of cardiology bangabandhu sheikh mujib medical university dhaka bangladesh thank you uh, Card cardiac society of india west bengal branch for arranging such a big uh, uh, cardiac imaging conference um, my, uh, I am going to present today adult congenital heart disease with the refractory heart failure. My first case is 18 years male, short of breath on exertion, fatigue, uh, which is progressive for one year. Uh, patient is cyanosed, uh, SP, uh, SpO2 is 90 in lumiere, pulse is 78 beat per minute, which is regular, blood pressure 110, 75 millimeter of mercury. First sound is uh, splitted and second heart sound is also fixed splitting. And since there is systolic murmur in parasternal region, uh, JVP raised, A wave is prominent, hepatomegaly and mild negative. This is the chest extra peer view showing uh, cardiomegaly with RV type apex. And uh, the ECG of, ECG of patient shows a uh, short peer interval with um, uh, delta wave present, so more in favor of WPW syndrome. Uh, this is the pastor long axis view of this patient, uh, which shows the dilated RV. And uh, MO shows good LV systolic function with uh, mild pericardial effusion with a dilated RV. And uh, this is the um, RV uh, focused modified Fortimer view showing the septal leaflet of the tricuspid bulb is uh, uh, more uh, apically placed and the anterior leaflet of the tricuspid bulb is uh, moving very well and uh, the functional RV is uh, preserved uh, well and there is a uh, eco dropout in mid interaptial septum. Color flow showing uh, tricuspid regurgitation and uh, left to right shunt uh, through interactive septum. And subcostal view uh, confirming the interactive septum, the interactive septal defect. And large, uh, there is this uh, actual septal defect is large with good mitral and posterior rim. And there is a free uh, uh, RBOT and uh, also good uh, aortic rim. Tepsi is normal, so RV function is normal. Uh, so my eco diagnosis for my first case is cytosolitis, normal atrial ventricular and ventricular arterial connection, abstinent anomaly type A with actual septal defect, secondary type, and moderate tricuspid regurgitation, mild, mild pericardial effusion, good LV systolic and diastolic function, and fair RV systolic function. So my second case is 22 years old female short of breath on exertion and fatigue and progressive, uh, which is progressive for three years. On examination, pulse is uh, 84 beat per minute regular. Blood pressure is 100 over 70 millimeter of mercury. Uh, uh, faster sound is treated. There is systolic murmur in parasternal area. JVP is airway prominent, hepatomegaly and leg. So here is also, we, we see the dilated RB, which uh, compressed the LB and a good LP systolic function. The, here the uh, septal leaflet of the tricuspid valve is more epically placed than my first case. And the anterior leaflet of the uh, tricuspid valve is, uh, is uh, uh, not moving that much. And the actualization of the uh, RP, RP is uh, more bigger than my first case. And uh, this, this part is also dilated and the functional RV is very small. So the uh, distance between the mitral valve and tricuspid valve uh, around 43 millimeter. And uh, here also we confirm the anterior leaflet is not moving at all. And uh, color flow showing the tricuspid regurgitation. And uh, in uh, subcostal view, the inferior vena cava is dilated and uh, there is uh, no respiratory vanishing. So the eco diagnosis for my second case is cytosolitis, normal atrioventricular and ventricular arterial connection, 
abstain anomaly type C. Severe tricuspidic congestion, compressed LB with normal LB function, radon dastery dysfunction of LB, and moderate RB systolic dysfunction. So, abstain anomaly, the pathological anatomy is the failure of the delamination of the tricuspid valve leaflet and a more apical displacement of the functional uh, tricuspid annulus. And septal leaflets are more apically displaced than posterior leaflet than anterior leaflet. And dilatation of the atrialization uh, part of the right ventricle and anterior leaflet, uh, anterior leaflet there may be fenestration, uh, redundancy, or tethering. And dilatation of the true anatomical tricuspid valve annulus. The carpentite classification, we know that the type 1 is the volume of RB is uh, well preserved. So my first case is type 1. And type 2 is a large actualization of the uh, RB wall. And then is anterior uh, uh, leaflet can freely move. And uh, type C is enter, there is restriction of the anterior leaflet movement. So my second case is type C. And type D is near complete actualization of the RB. So natural history is uh, prenatal poor prognosis, uh, severity related to the RV and LV function. And late diagnosis is associated with the uh, reduced survival. And uh, um, arrhythmia, 51% uh, cases are present with arrhythmia. And uh, predictors are the, if uh, chest x view shows the cardiothoracic ratio is uh, more than 0 0.65 and severity of tricuspid valve uh, displacement more epical displacement and the NOIC class 3, 4, cyanosis, severe TR, and younger age uh, at diagnosis. Associated cardiac defects are ASD, which is present in my first case, and VSD, uh, RB outflow tract obstruction, PDA, coaptation of aorta, excessive conduction pathway, that is WCNM, which is also present in my first case, and corrected TGM. Now, our next plan will be the cardiac catheterization to look for any other shunt and confirm the diagnosis and uh, followed by surgery. The indication of surgery is heart failure, cyanosis. And type of uh, surgery is done by ventricular repair, right ventricular exclusion and rotor ventricular exclusion and at last the heart transplantation. Early mortality, the prognosis, is, uh, the early motor uh, after surgery is uh, early mortality 1%, survival is uh, good uh, if uh, the surgery done in due time is 76%. And um, survival, uh, if uh, done late, then it came into uh, to the 20 years time, it came to 46%. 83% may remain in you know, class 1 and 2. 34% uh, um, has uh, no need uh, of any cardiac medication. Problem are the late year and re-hospitalization and actual take care of Thank you for your patient care.